If you're running an eBay dropshipping business, you might have countered the situation that your sales started to slow down. You might encounter the situation that you get less traffic to the product that you're trying to sell on eBay. So you've been working really, really hard to optimize the listings before you listed them. And then you listed them expecting to start generating sales. But it didn't work. Or maybe it started working but then stopped. And the key to understand why it happens is in understanding how does traffic work on eBay? What is it that the search engine of eBay doing when you're listing your first product? Now, this could be a two hours webinar in the subject of how to fix all of your slow sales. But I just happened last week uh, to give during a call that we decided to record just in case we would have a video for me, I was giving a consultation call to Darek from Entrepreneur Zone, which is the Netflix of courses on how to make, uh, on how to start an online business. And I contributed a course to that community as well. It's called the Complete eBay Dropshipping Course for Beginners. So I'm going to leave uh, links to it in the description below. But during our consultation call, what happened is that Derek happened to only list one product. He's a co-founder of a company and he's having a lot of work over there. It happens also sometimes that you decide that you're going to start something and then things delays a little bit. So what happened is that we listed one product together and then uh, he didn't manage yet to follow up and a week passed. And he was just about to follow up and I told him, stop, you only listed one product, that's perfect. Let's look at the statistics and the growth and, and what happened to this one product only in your store and try to learn from it. How does the traffic work on eBay dropshipping, on, sorry, on eBay in general? And, and as an eBay dropshipping seller that is not dependent on any inventory, because when you're selling on eBay doing the, using the dropshipping model, you don't need to hold an inventory yourself. And, um, how can you leverage the situation of you doing eBay dropshipping uh, in order to fix that situation in case it happens to you, not now after you listed one product, but when you have 100 products? How can you understand how does the uh, traffic on eBay work and what you as a dropshipping seller can do in order to avoid losing traffic and slowing down your sales? So I hope that you would enjoy that session. Um, and if you do like it, please consider to click the like button, comment on this video, what did you learn from this video, and what else would you like us to talk about in this channel? And please consider subscribing. All right, let's jump to the session. Look at something interesting, right? You, have, you, only, have, you only listed one product so far. Yeah. And uh, when was it? Was it on the 18th? I guess. It was a week. It makes sense. It was a week ago, no? Or two weeks ago. When did we do the session? Yeah, it was like a week. Like, yeah. So like a, I think like a week ago. Okay. So uh, look how in the first days we have some anomaly that we don't understand. But then in day number three, the amount of views jumped up, got all the way to here, right? Mm -hmm. so this is like you have a lot of impressions here. And because so eBay, eBay, the search engine of eBay actually mm -hmm. gives you a lot of traffic. It puts you maybe on the first page, maybe on whatever, yeah. and your listing doesn't make sales. And as I told you, we talked about it throughout the optimization process that you can optimize your listings and that would be one that, like it, it would push more traffic to your, to your listing. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. let's say if you wouldn't do the, the listing optimization, maybe you would only get to here. But we, because you did the optimization yeah, yeah, yeah. for SEO, you got all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. But then what happens is that the next parameter that is the most important is your conversion rate. Because if your listing doesn't generate, if your listing's got that many views, it's, uh, it's not that many. Like, can you stand on it with your, uh, with your mouse? Yeah, four views. It's not like you get huge amount and mm -hmm. page views. It means that you got at least double the impressions, right? Or mm -hmm. X something impressions. So you appeared on the first page a couple of times. And then yeah. four people at the peak, four people a day clicked on your listing. But mm -hmm. then 
it didn't sell. So people click on your listing, but they don't interact with the listing. They don't and this is why uh, eBay starts giving you less relevance to the every listing. Every and day, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit I more understand. time, and then they say, bye-bye, your listing is dead. So mm -hmm, theoretically mm -hmm. speaking, at this point, this, look, so how, how can you regenerate now traffic into those listings? How do you do this? This is called optimization in eBay dropshipping. And I'm going to mm -hmm. explain to you more the theory, but you only have one product now. So it's not like you can do it yeah, yeah, yeah. much. It's more, let's understand the, the practices around it. And, and then it would, mm -hmm. the first thing that you can do is list more products. Because when you add more products to your store, mm -hmm. you increase the activity in the store, the, the, the more listing you listed one product and that's the only thing that you have right now in your store and it has been a week. If a product would be listed every day of the week, not, well, this, these are the views of the entire store, right? So mm -hmm. you, would see here, you wouldn't be able to see here the views for that specific product, but there is a good chance that just because you listed other products to your store, yeah. uh, because of the activity, eBay would say, okay, that's an active seller. I'm going to drive also more traffic to this listing that we're looking mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Second thing, if you would generate sales, then even you would even, not for this listing, if you would generate sales for other listings, there is a yeah. saying among eBay sellers that is a, a sales bring sales. So you make a sale and then organically eBay sends more traffic to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the rest of the product. This is why part of the, uh, part of the products that uh, you list as an eBay seller, as a, as a, not, not just as a beginner, like there are two types of products that you can list to your store. Mm -hmm. Product that has high profit margins and product that has, uh, and then, okay, if they have a lot of sales, it's good. But even if they don't have a lot of sales, if you make $10 on one sale that you made, you would list mm -hmm. them to your store. Or product that has very low to even zero profit margin, but that sells tons, that sells as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those uh, traffic generators. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they generate traffic not for themselves, but for the rest of the store. I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Uh, feedback and stuff like that uh, yeah so as I said activity and and sell and generating sales from other products and mm -hmm. the last thing that will generate generally more traffic to your store is that if you will if you would notice that although this went up and then went down after a while if this product would not perform in in in, in the next 25 days let's say if this if there would be 25 days we already set up for your dashboard an alert that after 25 days without a sale, I think it's in the dashboard alert here, you can go there. Uh, it's actually a good idea. Let's, let's check what, what did we set up. It's in the settings, in the uh, account settings. No, it's up, up here, yeah, under the dashboard alerts. And then if 25 uh, days passes, right, how much did we do? Okay, 28. 28. If the item doesn't have any sales for 28 days, that means that the rest of the products with all of the things that you did for optimization still didn't uh, uh, mm -hmm. push a lot of traffic to your, to this product, then it will appear in the alert and then you say, that's it, I'm removing it from my store. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No optimization would help. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get traffic for this product from eBay. And then you, uh, you, uh, you, by removing these products, what you're doing is you, you are increasing the general uh, sell-through rate or the general yeah, yeah, yeah. rate of the store yeah. and you increase the, uh, yeah, the, the health of the store. So guys, I hope that you learned from this session and I want to recap and go back to the things that we went over and the things that I recommended Derek to do if he wants to, in the future, in case such situation happens, uh, to fix the slow sales. So first, list every single day products. So you need to find enough products to sell. So that would be at least seven products so you could list every day product, right? So list every day products. And if you don't want to do a lot of work and list them every day, then let me share my screen for a second. Use the DSM tool Rapid Lister because in it you will find a a button that is called schedule. So you don't have to publish the products right now. You can also schedule them to the entire next week. And then every day, whether it's one product, 10 products or 50 products, you can create a schedule of when your products uh, will be uh, listed. List products every single day. Remember to look, when you're looking for products to sell, don't only look for products with huge profit margins or that are very expensive. These are wonderful products. They will generate you a lot of, uh, a lot of profit. 
But because you're a dropshipper and because you don't have to buy inventory, you can leverage the option of using traffic products. And traffic products are products that might have lower profit margins, but that are selling a lot. Because remember, sales bring more sales. If one of your products is making sales, then maybe, for example, the customer would leave you a positive feedback. And then you would have another product, which is a little bit more expensive, that has far, far higher profit margin. And your competitor to that product at that exact same moment would get a negative feedback, while you would get for a different product, your traffic product, a positive feedback. Boom. You're outranking them, the, uh, your competitor, and you might generate that sale, and you might make that profit. That's why you want traffic products in your store. And last, make sure that if you're listing so many products, then if, like Direct's product, they outperform, or they underperform, sorry, they don't outperform, they underperform, then you remove them from your store. Once again, I hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, please comment below so we would know that you learned something. What did you learn? Click the like button, consider to subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video.